Hi, I'm Damien, author of Oxford's Finest. Today, I want to discuss renting or buying a property. There's no hiding that buying a home is a huge life decision, but is it the right decision for you? There's no correct answer, as there are pros and cons to both renting and buying. A huge factor in anyone's decision-making process comes down to money. In many cases, renting seems to be the more affordable option. Sometimes though, that's not the case. Your decision can come down to several lifestyle considerations, such as whether you want flexibility or stability, what your career goals are, and whether you want a place to truly call your own. If you're deliberating about whether you should rent or buy, listen on to find out what you need to consider before making your decision. Pros and cons of renting. The pros, freedom to move around. The homeowner pays for repairs and maintenance. No huge deposits or closing fees and it allows you to test drive different living conditions and areas, townhomes, country homes, apartments, etc. Cons, you won't build any equity. You don't really have the ability to customize your living space to your own taste. The homeowners might sell or decide to stop renting. Limited sense of home and a stable future. Buying pros and cons. The pros, you build equity over time home value may increase over time. Tax benefits. You can customize and do as you please. You can grow old in your home, feel safe and stable. The cons. Closing costs and deposits can be expensive. Responsibility for all maintenance and repairs. Less, less flexibility to move quickly. Home value could decrease. This is how to decide on whether to rent or buy, in my opinion. Decide how long you would like to live in the same place. In other words, are you planning on putting down roots in your community or are you craving more flexibility? If you feel certain you'll stay in your home for at least five years, buying a home could make sense. That's because it could be a good fit both financially and emotionally. You can put personal touches on your home and really make it feel like yours. However, Renting is the better option if you prefer to be less committed. For example, let's say you're really hoping to get that job promotion, but it's halfway across the country. You don't want to have to deal with the hassle of selling a home while transitioning to a new position. Or perhaps you've moved to a new area and want some time to get to know different towns before settling down somewhere. You can buy a home and then sell it within a few years, but the costs are hardly worth it. Aside from the initial closing and moving costs, you may be paying more closing costs when selling a home in addition to other closing costs such as repairs and renovations. Work out the cost of renting versus buying. In many cases, renting can be cheaper than buying a home because of the upfront costs involved. This includes a down payment, closing costs, moving costs, any fixes or maintenance work. Having said that, just because you can afford a mortgage payment doesn't mean you can afford a home. Expenses do add up. On the other hand, buying a home can be cheaper in the long run and it offers you an opportunity to build equity. Buying a home is actually cheaper after six years. A homeowner's mortgage payment is lower than that of a renter. This is assuming that the rent is a 5% increase each year and the homeowner is paying a fixed monthly payment. Not only that, but there are tax savings to being a homeowner. That's not to say you should dive right into homeownership. It's perfectly fine to rent for a few years, save up and purchase a home if you're set on having a place of your own. The savings in costs of being a homeowner also assume you'll stay in a home for the long term and may not factor in maintenance costs. However, if you do pay off your mortgage and continue to live in the home, the savings can be significantly cheaper even with home maintenance costs. Being mobile versus creating a solid foundation. Which is more important to you? Life happens. Even with the best of intentions, it's hard to guess what can happen next. If you intend to stay in one place for a long time and have the money to do this, buying a home may make the most sense. However, it's important to take a look at your current situation and think about whether or not it'll change within the next few years. Your housing needs could also change, so you may want to hold off buying a home. You may decide to extend your family and you may need more space in the future. 
You shouldn't buy a home that's not going to accommodate a growing family in a few years. In both these cases, it might be a good idea to rent for the time being, so you have time to figure out what you want in a home, what your budgeting needs are, and what kind of home might be the best fit for the lifestyle you hope to have in the future. Balance the risks of renting or buying. There are risks for both renting and buying a home. Yes, you can build equity when buying a home. There are some financial risks. For one, you could lose money if there's a problem with the economy. Or if you sell your home sooner than you want, you may not be able to make up for what you spent in closing costs or the renovations. Let's not forget maintenance costs. These are expenses you'll need to pay to keep the home in top, top condition. If you're focused on other things in your life, like a career that requires you to travel often, or you have multiple young children to attend to, adding home maintenance to your list of responsibilities may not be wise. However, renting means you won't have the opportunity to build equity like you would with buying. Your rent could go up at any given moment. You're also at the mercy of the homeowner. His or her life situation may change and they may be forced to sell. Assess your financial situation. It's important to note that you need to be realistic about your financial situation when deciding between renting and buying. Once you estimate the cost of renting versus buying, be honest about whether you can afford other upfront costs like a down payment, repairs, moving costs, and buying new furniture. Consider using a mortgage calculator to estimate your monthly payments as well as how much home you can afford. In either case, do some careful budgeting right now so no matter what you choose, you'll be able to afford a home or rent. My final thoughts. There isn't always a clear answer to the question on whether to rent or buy. Depending on your situation and finances, the answer might change over time. There are other options such as renting to own. Start out renting, then you move on to becoming the homeowner. Or owning a partial percentage of the house with outside investors. No matter what decision you make, it's important you make as an informed decision based on your financial situation and lifestyle. You never know what the future may bring, so bear that in mind. Life changes. I hope this helps you. Please reach out. I'd love to answer any questions you may have. Thank you.